for Sciences, and I'm here to protect your health and your happiness. We're a mission-based organization. Our mission is to improve the happiness of scientists and the quality of their research. Why is this important? Well, we live on this beautiful planet, right? But it's riddled with diseases and problems that cause us a lot of pain and unhappiness. Think about someone close to you, uh, maybe it's you, who's had one of these diseases, cancer, arthritis, allergies. And think about the pain and unhappiness it causes your family. Well, there are people who are trying to prevent these problems and provide solutions, and those are our customers. Scientists, <laughs> right? And some of you might have an image of a scientist that looks like this, a crazy, mad scientist. We're gonna get rid of that, all right? Now, scientists look more like this guy, my friend, Adam. They're kind, compassionate, and genuinely want to make the world a better place by doing research and trying to solve these problems. And to do their research, they need to use products, test tubes and beakers, and these 1.5 milliliter micro centrifuge tubes. Here, take a look. <laughs> right? And uh, the problem that Adam has is he, cannot, he doesn't have a resource to evaluate different brands of these products. And so what Happy Lab is gonna do, we want scientists to focus on solving the world's problems, and we're gonna focus on helping them use the right supplies and the right companies. So two major problems exist for them that we're gonna help them with. One is poor quality control. So these products, they're manufactured all over the world. China, Europe, America, you name it. And they get made, and they get shipped here into the labs, they're doing cancer research or diabetes research, and no one evaluates or tests their quality. All right, so they, in addition to that, major scientific journals have highlighted independent studies that show that low quality plastics are ruining their experiments. So that means cancer research is slowing down because of low quality products infiltrating the market. Problem number two is pricing variation. So scientists don't have a resource to go to to determine what is a fair price. So I went around and I surveyed labs around the country. Each dot represents a lab and what they paid for those, a case of those tubes. And no matter what product I evaluated, there are always outliers. There are always labs getting ripped off just because they don't have a resource to provide them the information they need to make a better decision about how much to pay. So what is our solution? Data. Very simple. Everyone uses it, everyone knows about it. We go out and we collect data. Our process is simple. There's a sea of information out there about quality and price and you name it. So Happy Labs, we collect it, we organize it, and we funnel it down. We like to think we have our own little science lab. And we evaluate companies on quality, price, customer service, sustainability. We put it into reports and other formats of information so that it's easy for them to make quick, accurate decisions about their research so they can more efficiently um, work on the cures, the problems, and sources of un unhappiness in your life. So how do we make money? What's our product? Well, we have three main services right now, all in their MVP stages. <laughs> Um, the first one's like Yelp. Basically, you can go to happylabs.org, create an account, and you can rate and review supplies. And you can access uh, information that way. Our second um, level of service is like a consumer reports or an Angie's list. You can access our data annually with a subscription. And our third service <coughs> is um, like Accenture, outsources consultants. We're outsourcing lab managers. Right now, people are hiring me to come in and help them organize their books do their shopping for them and making sure they're spending their money and their time efficiently. My vision for the future, um, how many of you are familiar with UL, Underwriters Laboratory? They are the gold standard for electrical safety in this country, so anything that you plug into a wall, um, go look at a lamp or cable box, turn it upside down, there's probably a UL sticker on it because it's been approved and tested for safety. So what I want, any scientist, whether it's a year from now, five years from now, a hundred years from now, if they're going to be doing quality research, I want to make sure Happy Labs is evaluated, tested those products, and put a stamp on the products that are best for their research so that they can more efficiently protect our health and our happiness. So as I go forward, uh, I'm looking for a few things to help us grow. A co-founder. I've been doing a lot of the work by myself. I have an autoimmune disease, so that fuels my passion. Uh, but someone who has business knowledge, I have a lot of science, I can talk molecular biology with you all day long, but talking business and knowing business is not my strong point. Um, web development uh, co-founder would be great, um, even a, a mentor as well with the business side of it. But if you know anyone who's a scientist who's involved with this um, with research in some capacity, send them to Happy Labs, because they guarantee you they're probably getting ripped off somewhere and using products that if they have the right information, they uh, wouldn't be using those products. I want to say thank you to the scientists who've been helping me, all, uh, the web development team, all of us are from Starterly, and uh, my wife's been very supportive. Thank you very much.